Hello, Saikum. This is the Neuronatomy series, and this is fourth lecture of Neuronatomy series. We were learning about central nervous system, and we completed the central nervous system. And today we will learn about the peripheral nervous system that consists of nerves. There are twelve cranial nerves and thirty-one spinal nerves. The nerves leave the brain and spinal cord respectively and run throughout your whole body. Connect your brain and spinal cord with other body parts as sensory or motor nerves they also control your autonomic body functions autonomic functions are somewhat automatic and they are not in your control so nerves and brain collectively control them without letting you know that what is happening is respiratory system cardiovascular system digestive system and much more the 12 pairs of cranial nerves leave the brain and pass through the foramen of the skull foramina are the small holes in the skull that to nerves and other structures like vessels pass through them however this is foramen magnum from which the brain passes down as spinal cord as i told in both my previous lectures of spinal cord neuron anatomy and neuroanatomy of the brain where the cranial nerves pass from the foramen of the skull the spinal nerves pass from the intervertebral foramen intervertebral foramen are foramen between two vertebrae the vertebrae are arranged in a manner that they make a hole and that is called intervertebral foramen means foramen between two vertebrae it lies between the pedicles of neighboring vertebrae but don't confuse this foramen with this foramen that provides the passage to the spinal cord and meninges This picture shows the vertebral foramen consists of spinal cord and the spinal nerve exiting from the intervertebral foramen. Here are the names of 12 cranial nerves. First nerve is olfactory nerve that is associated with the smell. These are many small nerves arising from the brain and supplying the nose. The second pair of the nerves is optic nerve that supply eyes and is associated with the sight. The third one is acrometer and fourth one is trochlear nerve both are associated with the eye muscles. Fifth one is trigeminal nerve. Fifth one is trigeminal nerve that is associated with sensory and motor functions of the face and sixth one is abducens nerve and that is also associated with the eye muscle. Seventh facial nerve is associated with taste, lacrimation, salivation. Eighth nerve is vestibulocochlear nerve that is associated with hearing and balance. Ninth one is glossopharyngeal nerve, and that is also associated with taste and other functions. We will learn when we will be learning the nerves. Tenth one is vagus nerve that has so many functions like swallowing, speech, cough, reflex. Tenth is the SSA nerve that has the function of shoulder and neck muscle movement. Hypoglossal nerve is also associated with the tongue, and that is twelfth and last cranial nerve. The spinal nerves are not named as cranial nerves, but instead they are named as the region from which they arise. There are eight cervical pairs of spinal nerve, twelve thoracic pairs, five lumbar pairs, five sacral pairs, and a single coccygeal pair. And they all make thirty-one pairs of spinal nerves. This is all for today, and in the next lecture, we will learn about the neuroanatomy of the neuron.